During Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to the United States last month, both countries announced unprecedented levels of Indo-US cooperation in space. This includes an Indo-US mission to the International Space Station and India signing the Artemis Accords. To understand the significance of these programs, our senior correspondent Siddharth MP caught up with NASA's chief economist. Listen in. The year 2024 will be the biggest ever for India-US space ties. To tell us more about this, we are joined by Dr. Alexander MacDonald, NASA's chief economist. Kindly tell us, uh, President Joe Biden mentioned that there will be an Indian astronaut flying to ISS in a joint mission with the US next year. What does this mean? Well, it means a lot of different things. It means a new level of cooperation between uh, ISRO and NASA. Uh, the Gagayan program is going along well, but at the same time, we're going to have an Indian astronaut travel for the first time uh, as an ISRO astronaut to the International Space Station. And that is going to create new opportunities for testing under different systems, right? Our, our ability to work together with human spaceflight, which we've already now begun with NISAR. I just had the uh, privilege to go visit the facilities at ISRO today to see the NISAR satellite. Uh, it is one of the most exciting and important projects of Earth science that NASA has ever done, and it is done hand in hand in an equal partnership with ISRO. And that really is going to be the road uh, that we're going to now use to travel along for other projects as well. Right. So when can we expect this mission? And it's most likely a Falcon 9 and a Crew Dragon combo that will ferry the astronauts to ISS? Yeah, I think we're still working out the details of which launch vehicles and how the arrangement is going to work. Uh, but we have a commitment to fly in 2024, which is next year. The president has said it. Uh, he's promised it to the prime minister. So that is what we're going to go see. So uh, the president also mentioned that there'll be uh, training for astronauts at the Johnson Center. So tell us more about that. That is aimed at Gaganyan? Uh, yeah, that is just aimed at uh, training uh, the Gagayan astronauts on the different systems required for, for NASA, for, uh, for going to the ISS, but also just for some of the types of uh, experience that NASA has for many, many years now traveling in space. Uh, we had, for example, our chief medical officer who already came over to visit here at Israel to exchange knowledge, to, to just pass on some of the lessons learned. It's really about passing on the knowledge that NASA has learned to just uh, help uh, ISRO and help uh, anyone who's going to space uh, from ISRO uh, learn what it's going to be like. India is the 27th signatory of the Artemis Accords. So what are the implications? Does it mean that India and US can work together for future manned lunar exploration? Certainly that is possible. The Artemis Accords are really a commitment by all the countries who sign it to abide by not just the rules of the Outer Space Treaty, but to recommit ourselves to sustainable lunar exploration in perpetuity. And so that does create new opportunities. Uh, really, it is a group of countries who are all going to work together for lunar exploration. So what else can we expect between India and US in the areas of space cooperation? Any other domains, particularly startups, which is an exciting prospect? Yeah, NASA has done a lot of work over the last 10 years on working with commercial companies to explore space, to deliver data down to Earth. And right now, of course, uh, India is going through a really exciting moment with a new space policy that is enabling commercialization in new ways. We've already begun talking about some of the lessons learned from NASA. Uh, there is a desire to see more and more integration uh, between US industry and uh, uh, Indian space industry. And it's just at the beginning of it, and we'll see what happens. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. McDonald. Thank you. So that's uh, Dr. McDonald telling us that it's just the beginning and it'll be onwards and upwards for India-US space ties henceforth. From Bengaluru, Siddharth MP, We On, World Is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.